Hello everybody, just a quick little video again. This one is going to be an interesting one, I think, because it, um, with these these larger cards, like for example, um, this, I believe it is a 4080, right? Yeah, this is the 4080 here. Um, oh, and by the way, I... <laughs> Oh boy, um, I've got another box here full of other cards and more cards here and oh man, I am booked yeah, for a while. But anyway, um, here's the deal, right? Uh, something that you're not being told. Um, okay, this thing here is massive, as you can probably tell. And stick around, guys, don't, don't just skip or click out of the video because this is there's a point to be made here um, if you own one of these big huge graphics cards you ought to know this okay now you know for a long time I have been pushing for uh, vertical mounts like here on my tester system okay I have a vertical mount but that's because I need it I need to take voltage measurements and things like that on the front of the card uh, I need to get a um, uh, riser that reaches all the way to my desk where I work so I can test the back of the card but uh that's coming anyway um and you see I have my uh 3080 Ti here trusty one on a riser and my 30 my 4090 I have it also on a riser okay now I'm not just here showing off at all um trying to make a point these cards th th there's two tendencies okay there's a tendency of them to sag okay so that's when they go like this all right and then there's the second uh problem that is rising and i don't know if the guy from northwest repair i, I don't remember his name but uh i know that um the guy from Graphics Car Repair, he's a, I consider him a good friend of mine. I, I, I don't know if, if you guys can also post, you know, your opinion on this. Because, okay, let me stop, let me stop mumbling. Let me get to the point. You have the sagging problem, right? But now, because these cars are getting so big and so huge and so heavy, they're giving you supports, right? Supports so that, you know, the, the sagging problem is supposedly fixed. But that is creating another problem. You see that right there? It's having the opposite effect. You see that? Hopefully the camera is catching that. Where instead of sagging like this, now it's going up like this. And that, my friends, I have had several cards looking like this. Okay, looking like this with cracked joints under the GPU. And that means I have to reball it. And that cost gets passed down to you. And this one here has cracked joints. I don't know if you can, the camera can see in there, but I can see here in this corner, it's, uh, uh, it's very obvious that the, it, it's, the core is not attached to the board because it has a great, it has a big bow this is not a camera effect. That's actually how badly bowed the PCB is. It's the opposite way. Instead of being like this, it's actually going, you know, like, like a U, like this. Um, and why is that happening? It's because of the supports. The supports that, that they're telling you that you got to add here. So when you install your card, you have it like this, right? In your system, horizontally. And you get the supports that go here and you know you so that it helps with the sag but because the card is so freaking heavy regardless of that support the card wants you know gravity wants to do its thing it's trying to pull that thing down um and the support is fighting it so what is causing is that it, it is twisting the board like this so it's it's it's, it's going like this you know, um, and so crack joints are under the memory, under the core, um, 
What a mess. I mean, look, look at this. <laughs> and this is a 4080, man. I'm, you know, nothing really like, um, how do you say, uh, like the components are all working. There's no shorts or nothing like that. This is just a, this is my third one actually that I have like this. Uh, this is my second one in this batch that needs uh, the core to be revolved. Uh, reflow will do it also. You know, I could just reflow the core. That has done the job for me uh, many times. Uh, but in this case, because of how severe this is, I will need to revolve this core. Um, and I... This board, th this PCB, because of how bold it is, I can't take that away. But a, a good... Um, a reball will, you know, mend those joints and also kind of help the connection there or the core kind of, um, how should I say this, conform to the to how badly bowed this is so that, um, yeah, anyway, I'm sorry guys, uh, I know this is kind of mumbling around, but I'm trying to get you guys to understand if you're going to buy a graphics card like this, you need to keep that in mind. Either it's gonna sag, and if it's if it's not if it's gonna sag, it's gonna crack your GPU joint or memory. Um, and if it's gonna be on a support, it's going to twist the PCB like this, you know. Uh, and that's going to have the same effect, just the opposite direction, um, and also cause your your car to prematurely die or start to give you artifacts and crap like that. Um, get yourself a riser. Get get the Fantex riser that I already made a video on my channel about. Um, there's also all the other risers that you can get. Uh, I understand that if you have a case and you got your setup already going and it's a pain in the butt to have to get a new case just to fit, just to have your riser fit, I, I get that. But if you're gonna be buying a car this expensive, this big, you ought to do the right thing. I mean, you might as well spend the extra extra money to protect your purchase because these things are not cheap, man. I, come on, I don't have to tell you that. Um, so with the support or without a support, these things are dying. Um, and I know I'm gonna get some of you in the, in the comment sections, oh, my card's been without a support or it's been without a support for many, many years, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good for you. But there's a lot of us out there. There's a lot of you out there that I know I know for a fact that are experiencing problems because of both SAG and, the, and those supports that are twisting the PCB. All right, that's all the rant that I have for today. Hope you guys find the video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next, next one, yeah? If you hit the video, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. All right, peace out. Bye.